else add to the punditry of political pontificating? I don't know if that made any sense. Anyway, let's talk about the presidential race of 2020. I know, right? The longest election ever just ended, and I'm itching to start the conversation about the next one. I'm sorry. We haven't even gotten through the first 100 days yet. We have a duty to do. We have to do this. But the reason why I'm talking about this now is a certain senator from right here in Minnesota is getting some buzz when just a few years ago that buzz would have been laughable to some. As always, I'm here with, with my 1.3 meter a parabolic antenna. When the Minnesota Senate seat was won by the satirist in 2008, America did take note. A Saturday Night Live cast member among the Washington elite? Yeah, America was going to Hades. But it's 2017 now. A celebrity overtook an entire political party and won the White House. So, Senator Franken, does he now have permission to move on up? There are lots of reasons to think what, that, that a conversation about Franken two years ago, three years ago, was something you laughed off. By 2020, it might not be quite as ridiculous of a conversation as we think. A Washington Post writer opined this very idea with this screaming headline. Why Al Franken for president isn't as crazy as you might think. It might have been a crazy thought when most people likely thought he was Stuart Smalley in the Senate chamber, but now... He's been there for almost nine years. Al Franken has proven he's as serious as they come. Grilling just this year, Betsy DeVos, Jeff Sessions, and Tom Price, and not letting any of them get away from his questions unscathed. But Al Franken also has that satirist swagger, which is so far away from a party loyalist or a lifelong Washington swamp dweller. So maybe in 2020, Franken can sort of bridge that sort of anti-incumbency, anti-traditionalism, along with somebody who has has some experience in government at the same time. It's an interesting tightrope there, but maybe he has it. Think about it. While President Trump upended the traditional playing field on the GOP side, the Dems basically wiped themselves of relevancy, now having zero majority and no White House. So that party's got to start over. But seriously, guys, if Trump runs again in 2020, and he runs against Al Franken, a Saturday Night Live former cast member. I mean, that's as reality TV gold as it gets. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It Al Franken's often to office told me today that he's not going to run for president in 2020. Hmm. But, hey, guys, they always say that. And they always, I mean, they can change their mind. Didn't Hillary say she wasn't running for president? Everyone said they're not running for president, I think, except for Donald Trump, actually, who's run several times. But every politician already sitting in office because they don't want to make the people in their, in, their, in, in their home states mad, they just say they're not going to do it. They and have then a, they do it. a duty to fulfill as senator or representative or whatever office they hold. Mm. Right. Saying you're not going to run for president is an alternative fact. Come what on. do you think? <laughs> Would you vote for Franken in 2020? Oh, let's not push it too far. All right.